From an entire meal to three pairs of sandals, here is how much one dollar can get you around the world. Number 13. Hungary Hungary is known to be one of the cheapest travel destinations in the world. You can get a hotel room for as little as $14, a liter of mineral water at a store for 60 cents, and a whole bottle of wine for just a dollar. Hungary joined the EU in 2004, but it still uses its own currency, the forint, which is about 250 forint to a dollar right now. Shopping at the market, you can get all kinds of alcohol for a dollar, and about half a liter of beer for about 65 cents. It all depends on what kind of wine you're buying. You can also get a large baguette, a kilo of seasonal fruit, and a coffee with a pastry for a dollar. Number 12. The Philippines of course, if you want to enjoy all the activities the Philippines are famous for, like scuba diving and hiking up a volcano, then of course, you have to pay for it. But there are also many things you can get for a dollar, which equals about 49 Philippine pesos. In Cebu, for example, you can get about a half-hour foot massage for an American dollar. Cebu is the most densely populated island in the Philippines and is one of the most prosperous regions in the country, with a growth rate of 8.8%. Cebu draws almost 2 million tourists a year. In fact, the foot massages in Cebu are so popular that there are many places you can get one, or several throughout the day, because they're so cheap. You can also see a movie, get some fried fish snacks, buy 4 liters of drinking water, and 3 pounds of rice for just a dollar. Number 11. Colombia the cheapest thing you can get in Colombia is the food. Right now, $1 is about 3,000 pesos, which can easily get you a cup of coffee or an arepa with sugarcane tea. Depending on the place, there are local restaurants where you can get a whole menu for $1 or $1.75 that includes unlimited fresh squeezed juice, soup, a carb overload of pasta, rice, plantain, and potatoes with chicken or meat. Even at high-end restaurants, it is almost impossible to spend more than $50 per person, since filet mignon is only about $10. It seems that Colombia has not really been discovered by tourists yet, so the prices are still affordable. I went horseback riding up a mountain in a national park to the top where there is a place called the Hummingbird House. The five-hour ride, including a guide, was only $40. Number 10. Vietnam There are a lot of things you can buy in Vietnam that are equal to an American dollar. For example, a DVD, certain meals, depending on the restaurant, a hat, three pairs of sandals, and five instant noodle packages. If you're willing to spend more, then you can visit some of their more beautiful sites. And this would definitely be worth it, as Vietnam is known to be exotic and beautiful with its green landscape and small villages. Some of the best attractions to see in Vietnam are Ha Long Bay, which many visitors state is a magical place, like something right out of a movie. Another attraction is Hoi, an ancient town which offers a breathtaking mix of ornate Chinese temples, a Japanese-designed bridge, wooden shop houses, French colonial houses, and old canals. My cousin has traveled all over the world and said that her favorite place was Vietnam. There are also the Chi Chi Tunnels, My Son Hindu Sanctuary, the Sand Dunes of Muine, and the War Remnants Museum. None of these cost just a dollar. Number 9. Chiang Mai, Thailand If you want to travel and buy as much as you can for a dollar, Chiang Mai is apparently the place to go. Chiang Mai is a city in northern Thailand that is very mountainous. According to people who work there, they get their lunch delivered to them every day for a dollar. Street food does not cost more than a dollar either. If you've ever traveled anywhere, you know that one of the most expensive parts of a vacation is usually the food. But if you can get most of your meals for a dollar, think of all the money you could save, or spend on all the sites you could go see around the area. And with Chiang Mai being one of the busiest cities, especially for tourists in Thailand, there's plenty to see. Also, if you go off the tourist path, things are probably even cheaper. The question is, what can't you get for a dollar? Number 8. Croatia in Croatia, you can get a big scoop of ice cream for about a dollar. If you're traveling around Croatia in the summer, there is just one word you need to know that everyone will understand, ledo. Ledo is the Croatian word for ice cream that brings instant refreshment and a wealth of flavors to excite your taste buds. Ledo is the region's largest ice cream manufacturer and has more than 235 different ice creams. When saving your money on ice cream, you can go see many of Croatia's other amazing sites. Located in the Balkans, Croatia has become one of Europe's top tourist destinations again since its War of Independence in the late 1990s. Other sites to see are the Kirka National Park, medieval towns, and they even have budget trips. 
Although they don't cost $1, they can run as low as $16 and include a guided tour of Dubrovnik where you can see the main sites and hear stories about the city's fascinating 1400-year history. You can also maybe get a beer and some snacks for about a dollar if you're lucky. Number 7. Norway You can't get anything for a dollar in Norway. Number 6. Chester, England England is a top place for tourists. But if you go there, you might want to bring some extra cash as it is one of the more expensive tourist destinations. In fact, a dollar will only get you about half a loaf of bread or half a cup of coffee. The UK is expensive and especially with the exchange rate, there isn't much you can get for a dollar. Maybe if you're creative, you can leave us some ideas in the comments below. While you're in Chester, for example, you probably want to check out their amazing attractions, which is when the extra money will come in handy. In general, you can get the following for about a dollar in England. 3 fourths of a liter of milk, half a liter of gas for your car, two cigarettes, that's two single ones, not a pack, three apples, two days worth of the Sun tabloid newspaper, a small portion of fries, or a can of Coke from an office vending machine. Number five, South India. You can get a lot for a dollar in India. If you like rice and history, South India would be the place to go for vacation. For a dollar, you can get an unlimited serving of rice with rasam, sambar, curd, papad, and a sweet on a banana leaf. Basically, it is rice with sides and a piece of tortilla-type bread, papad, all served on a big leaf. It looks like a meal served on a leaf, which is pretty good for just a dollar. A loaf of white bread is about 40 cents, an hour at an internet cafe costs about a dollar, and so do five bananas. And saving your money would not be a bad idea, as South India is full of amazing places to visit. On the list is Hampi Karnataka, which is one of South India's top historical destinations. There is also the Kerala Backwaters and Madurai Tamil Nadu, which is home to one of the most important and impressive temples in South India. Number 4. Faroe Islands The Faroe Islands is self-governing and part of the Kingdom of Denmark. In the Faroe Islands, it is said that you can get a pack of chewing gum, two apples at the supermarket, and maybe some candy for about a dollar. These islands are comprised of 18 rocky volcanic islands between Iceland and Norway in the North Atlantic Ocean, connected by road tunnels, ferries, causeways, and bridges. These islands are often called the Forgotten Islands because they are not usually on tourist radar. But there is a lot to see here. The landscape is gorgeous and there are wild horses on some of the islands. There is also a music festival with famous DJs in July. You can hang out in beachside hot tubs and go hiking in between. Number 3. Egypt Egypt is another location where you can basically get a meal for a dollar. However, this also depends on where you are in Egypt. You already know this, the more touristy, the more expensive. Some of the things you can get around Egypt for an American dollar are a koshery plate, which is an Egyptian dish, which basically includes spaghetti, rice, lentils, and fried onions on top. Another option would be about 10 fool or bean sandwiches, maybe even some falafel, or in other parts of Cairo, just a donut. So if you ever travel to Egypt, you can definitely save money on food which means you can spend more money on seeing some amazing sights, like the pyramids and getting some souvenir keychains. Number 2. Costa Rica In Costa Rica, you can buy one papaya, one watermelon, one pineapple, and perhaps a cup of coffee. Costa Rica is said to be one of the most beautiful places for someone to visit. It is also called the Rich Coast. Now it is full of expats, so the prices of things have definitely gone up. One dollar is about 565 colones. No need to worry because they will happily take dollars as well. Of course, it is worth it with all the surfing, farm-to-table restaurants, and sustainable tourism. It is also one of the world's most biodiverse countries with a half a million species, from insects to giant anteaters. You can also see sloths, keel-billed toucans, blue morpho butterflies, monkeys, sharks, and dolphins. A recent study showed that many Costa Ricans live longer, healthier lives than people on the rest of the planet, and it all comes down to pura vida. Number 1. Vienna, Austria In Vienna, a dollar would buy you a freshly baked corn spitz, a kind of bread roll, but wouldn't be enough for a salty pickle from a street market or a short-distance public transport ticket. However, with the change from that corn spitz, you can visit the Museum of Applied Art on a Saturday, since it's free of charge. Vienna holds the legacy of the powerful Habsburg monarchy, and of course, for you classical music lovers, it is the city of music with a musical heritage that includes Mozart, Haydn, Strauss, and everyone in between. But yeah, besides Hungary, Europe isn't cheap. So in conclusion, it seems like your dollar will go much further in India, Thailand, and the Philippines. Have fun and safe travels! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!